Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you guys my Lego collection. Everything I have to offer in my uh, empire of Lego sets. And um, I did want to do this video for a long time, but I decided to save it for this time because uh, a couple days ago we just hit 40 subscribers. And I just want to thank you guys so much for that goal. Um, it's not a lot in like the end game, people pumping up thousands of subscribers a day. But this is, for me, a really important moment. I want to thank you guys so much for supporting me. But we're going to start off over here. So here is just, this is kind of a mess. It's just all my extra pieces sorted by color. We have just the black, the gray, just everything here. We have just some extra minifigs in here, just everything. And then here's just some of my old toys, like back from first grade. It was all the car stuff because I was stupid back then and I gave in to buying all the merchandise. <laughs> But here we have all of my prequel and Clone Wars minifigs. We have all the clones and the battle droids, all the Jedi, Jango Fett, everyone. Everyone's here. We're just going to zoom in. We got General Grievous over there. Uh, young Boba Fett. Really happy to get him because he's pretty rare. And here we have all the little planet sets because I loved getting them back then. I only got six of them. I got the first wave, the ATST, which is a really good build, the R4 minifigure, which I really liked. And the Death Star, and I really do like the Death Star. It's pretty cool. And here we have the Helicarrier, which is also one of my favorite LEGO sets of all time. It's just so cool. It's midi scale because it did come with the trophy figures and the exclusive Maria Hill and Nick Fury. But I did like it. We got the Shield Agent over there and the custom Chrome Gold C-3PO, which was going to be a video idea, but I trashed it because it was stupid. And we got both of the Vitruvius figures over here, which are like some of my favorite LEGO minifigs. And I do have the power functions in this in the build. I don't want to take them out, but they are in there, so just trust me on that. And then here we have my DC collection. It's a bit broad compared to my Marvel collection, which we'll get to in a minute. But I, I'm proud of it. I got the Reverse Flash. I got Superman, the Wonder Twins, which are pretty cool. But um, it's pretty broad, but I, I'm, I'm still proud of it in here is speaking of that marvel collection everyone we have all the villains we got vulture carnage is back there we got the black order which i do want to get the black order i'm gonna wait for them though because you know we got thanos with his four infinity stones i don't have all of them yet i got four of the sets we got group back there giant man the hulkbuster all of the heroes which looks awesome if you ask me uh the ant antony we got Hulk, both baby Groots, the mini Ant-Man, and the Avalisk is back there. Um, and just here we just have a bunch of stuff. We got the Sanctum, the Hydra Base, all that stuff over there. And we got, uh, moving up to here, we just have more DC stuff. We got Jokerland, just a bunch of Batmobiles. Over here we got um, the Javelin, the Batmech, Brainiac, uh, Spaceship, Cyborg's Helicopter. And then we got a bunch of Marvel stuff here, like the... Uh, Quinjet, the Guardian ship, the van, the Milano mansion, uh, just a lot of, no, it's not M Milano mansion, it's Malibu mansion, sorry, but, um, now we're gonna move on to the Star Wars stuff, there's a lot, we got the ATTE, awesome, Anakin's custom Jedi Starfire, which I love, uh, the Republic gunship, which I'm really pl proud to have, this is a really rare, uh, build, and I'm really happy I got it back in the day we got the resistance bomber which i just got for my birthday actually so it's pretty cool i just got it because that's why it's so out of place we got the resistance transport we got my custom bb8 uh brickhead which you can check out on my channel got um luke's hut with the porg over there i just want to move that because it is a pork so i do want <laughs> you guys to see the pork right there we got my modded uh first order transport which you can also check out on my channel with all the troops inside there very cool. Very proud of this one, too. We got just a bunch of mini builds and micro fighters I'm probably going to put away one day. Because not all of them are that impressive. There's, like, one I like. It's, like, the Falcon micro fighter. A lot of these are just I got from, like, battle packs and stuff that I really wanted the figures for. But, um, yeah, over here we got the Harry Potter Great Hall, which I'm not going to review. It's already, like, been a, two months or something. And we got all the minifigs here. Just a bunch of extra wands and the Whomping Willow. Um, but this is easily like one of my favorite Lego sets of all time. It's recent too. And over here, I'm just, I'm, I can't go back there because it's nuts back there. But we got the Double Decker Couch, which I just threw in with my Batman stuff. And we're going to try and get in there. We got 
the Joker limo set. We got Killer Croc. Uh, like monster truck back there. We got the uh, penguin duck thing. We got uh, Bane's giant truck. We got the Riddler sports car. We got Two Faces like uh, Excalator, Excavator, and the Scarecrow Chopper. And over here is where I keep all my Batman stuff. We got all the minifigs back here, which I am proud of. I got almost all of Series 1. Almost all. And then I got Killer Moth. She's like the one off person I got. We got Killer Croc. We got the Bat Cave back here. And just um, some extra base plates and stuff. And Batman is frozen back there, if you can see him right there. But, um,. Moving on, I, 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 this is easily, which is ironic because I keep it in a corner when no one sees it. We have one of my favorite Lego sets of all time, Jabba's Palace. I, I remember getting this for uh, Christmas in 2013 or 2012. I was so happy. And then I remember I got the desert skip for my birthday. I was like beyond excited. Then I remember the year after they made Jabba's sail barge and I had to get it. I'm just really proud of my Jabba collection. And then uh, the Rancor isn't in there though. The Rancor is up there, but we're going to get to that in a minute. Here we got some Jedi Interceptors, some Malevolence, which I, I'm really I'm really happy I got that. We got the um, Palpatine Suite. We got the Airspeeder. We got just a bunch of separate stuff. Not that interesting. We got Grievous' wheel bike, though, which is pretty cool. And the Tank Droid, which is one of my favorite, like, which is one of the coolest separate sets, in my opinion. We just got a bunch of stuff for Jack-14. No one remembers Jack-14. He's from uh, the Lego TV shows. But we do have the N1 Starfighter, which I love. We do have some escape pods. We got the Dewback, Luke's Landspeeder, Pod Racers, the Rancor, a Boam or Mark, and a Cantina. And I like Cantinas. Um, and you, as you can see, we got all the Beth musicians back there uh, jamming out. And then we just got a bunch of Rogue One stuff. The U-Wing, the um, U-Wing Pilot, TIE Striker, Krennic Shuttle, the Hover Tank. We got uh, up here just some Imperial stuff and all the Rogue One minifigures. I got a little, like, display thing back there. Uh, like a little sandy, like, little stand for them with the Shore Troopers. We got the Imperial Shuttle. We got the TIE Fighter all the way back from 2012. And the AT-AT. Now, jumping over to here really quickly, we have my Rebel collection. We got a Y-Wing, the really old 2006 X-Wing, the Airspeeder. The A-Wing and the B-Wing, which is all the way back there. And we got all my Celebration figures, which I love. Um, I got all of those from the DK books. Then here we just have my Star Wars Rebels collection, which is pretty broad, if you ask me. Because I, uh, I'm not a fan of Rebels. I did get the Ghost when I did like the show back in 2014, along with the Phantom. And then I did get the second Phantom because it came with Thrawn, so of course I had to get that. And then I got this set because it came with Ahsoka and Callus, which were really cool looking minifigs. And as you can see, I'm proudly displaying them here. And then I got Rex off at Bricklink because I'm not getting that crabby ATTE, which I already have one. So I want to get another one. <laughs> and then uh, over here, we have my Ewok Village. One of, this is probably my favorite Lego set of all time. Like, not one of the best. We got my ATST, we got my Stormtroopers. We got just a bunch of awesome Ewok minifigures and just the village. And all the texturing they put into it was amazing. I love this set so much. Oh, I just stepped on the Great Hall. What fell? Yeah, we'll get to it later. And then here we have... Dun, 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 dun. We have the Death Star. Um, I did do a lot of mods and stuff in here. We're going to try and get a good shot. I did do a lot of mods and stuff. I got Jar Jar in there. I did add a lot of stuff to the Dinoga and stuff. You could see him in there. If you could see him, like the little eye popping out. Got the Ewok begging for help before the walls close in. You got Chewbacca chasing a mouse droid. You got the um, uh, detention block with an astromech. Obi-Wan and the shield generator. Luke and Leia are swinging across. The stormtroopers chasing them. That guy's about to fall off. Let's see what else we got here. We got the turbo laser. We got this toaster droid, which is just a mouse droid, with these guys building a battle droid because they're really proud of their work. We got two stormtroopers up here. We got Luke and Vader have a nice day on the town eating pizza, and then the stormtroopers found a pig in the Tie Fighter and they have to get him out. Then here we got an assassin droid torturing this rebel pilot who's upside down, and then all the way up there, if we see that. That is my TC-14 figure, one of my favorite 
minifigures, even though like we're gonna try and get them down, and we're gonna, I'm gonna cut this part right here. There we go. As you can see, there's TC14. Uh, he's all scratched up and stuff because I played with him so much. I remember when I got him for my birthday, I took him to school and I showed him off and I was so proud. But um, he's scratched off at the cost of it, which kind of guilts me to this day, but it was worth it. I had a lot of good fun with them. Then we're going to try and get a good shot. Like I don't want to take this set down because I am going to break it. We got some turbo lasers. We got some Imperial officers up there, but there really isn't much to do. We got R2 and 3PO meeting their doppelgangers. But other than that, guys, uh, that's pretty much it for my collection. Here we just have some dimension stuff. We got just some dimensions. We got the portal and storage there. Fantastic Beast stuff. We got my most viewed video on YouTube, the Wheatley uh, and the Space Corps video. That was really cool for me to do just some dimensions and storage and other than that that's it for my collection guys so um i want to know what you guys think um if you want to see more videos and vlogs like this please sure to subscribe and i'll see you later